Here we are at Flint Ridge Preparatory School where they wanted to retrofit from lawn to a dry shade garden for under oaks. And the reason why they wanted to do this is because they had a very high water bill because of the vast expanse of lawn and also because lawn kills oak trees. We need oaks in our ecosystem because oaks feed up to 5,000 good kinds of insects and animals that give us ecosystem services. Then the third reason they wanted to do it is because they had flooding into their school buildings because of the slight slope of the land that put all the water toward the buildings in any rainstorm. So three goals, reduce the water, preserve the oaks, and prevent flooding. So what they did was they removed most of the lawn, still keeping a patch of it out front to create that lush green effect, but then they removed the other two thirds of it and planted it with California dry shade plants for oak woodlands. And then they bisected it with a bioswale. In the swale, they planted plants that need more water, such as bunch grasses and sedges. And then on the outskirts of the swale, they planted the plants that are more dry shade adapted, such as coffee berry and hummingbird sage, the western sword fern, coral bells, Oregon grape, and western redbud. These are all beautiful plants that make flowers and contribute to support for hummingbirds and butterflies and take much less water than lawns. They're dry shade plants that evolved in the dry shade of trees such as oaks. And these plants do not have the water needs of tropical shade plants. They're dry shade plants.